pase. Así oh, que sí. para el siguiente grupo sí vamos a quedar. Ahí les voy a estar diciendo los colores. Sí. Vaya. Hello, guys. Uh, Hello. Sorry about yeah, that. So you, your blouse is red, share. teacher. Sorry? Your blouse is red? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Chocale. Sí. El nuevo uniforme. Sí. Qué chistoso. Es despedida. Qué chistoso. Bueno, sí. Sin querer queriendo. Okay. All right, guys. Um, welcome to today's class. How are you guys today? Well, um, we are okay. very well, teacher. All right. You're happy that we're going to finish today, right? Uh, yes, I know. Why? Uh, yes, because we learned with you a lot of new words, new vocabulary, and new topics. But at the end, it's like a we want to continue learning more and we don't know where, when going to start the other uh, uh, the other the, module. The next yeah. Module. yeah, yeah I, I get it. Well, I, I know it's hard for me to get, to let you guys go as well. But, you know, you never know. Maybe we'll we'll be together later. I don't know. But um, as far as I know, the idea is that we should be starting next week. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's what I understand. So, um, yeah, we, we shouldn't be waiting too long. Okay. Hopefully, um, if everything goes as planned. So that's that's the idea. Also, that was the reason why we needed you guys to cooperate with us with the platform because, um, it, yeah, and the platform um needs to be completed so that we could uh initiate quickly um all of the the administration process to be able to um, start our our next um, our next and last uh, module in the course together um, uh, for next week. So that's 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 the idea. So anyway, um, what I do right now is I'm going to be taking attendance. So Andrea Geraldine Sanchez Recinos. I'm here, teacher. All right, excellent. Thank you. Um, Teacher, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't listen my name. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. Se me, se me bajo uno. Andrea Geraldine Sanchez Recinos. Yes, yeah, present teacher. All right. Sorry about that. Se me había bajado el, la lista. Okay. There we go. Uh, Brendi Marilu Pimentel, Kolchak. Present. Thank you. Uh, Edgar Abel Tejada Benitez. Present, Miss Guerrero. Thank you. Um, Edson St uh, Stanley Hernandez Alvarenga. Present, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, Edson. Um, Eduardo Jose Melcarmedar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, I see Angel Antonio raises his, his hand. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, and Angel Antonio. Angel Antonio Ramirez will be this. Okay. Um, Iliana Janet Alvarado Molina. Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, ah, okay. Ahí está en algún lugar. <laughs> Okay, sí, estoy manejando. Ah, okay, okay, no hay problema. Por... Gracias, gracias. Um, Irma Raquel García de Monterosa. Irma Raquel. Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltrán. Good evening, I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Joana Yesenia García de Hernández. Okay, thank you. Uh, Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Velar. Yeah. Mm, uh, Present can, teacher. Okay, there. Okay. Esa, esa canción you. que está sonando ahorita. Salí en TikTok un maricón. Sin mentir. Um, Real. 
Ok, eh, quiero ver. Um, Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sánchez. Marina Stephanie. Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. Present teacher. All right, excellent, thank you. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitán. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. I'm here. There you are, okay. All right, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. I'm here, teacher, present. Thank you. All right. Um, Saul Antonio Hernández Torres. No? Uh, Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. Hi, teacher, I'm here. All right, wonderful. Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. Vanessa Esmeralda? All right, there you are. Good, thank you. Y Yancy Andrea Melendez Mayen. Present. Okay, ¿dónde está? Ah, ya, ya, ya la vi. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you guys. All right, so today we're going to start with our last topic for today. Um, actually, we I need you, we're going to be um, practicing a little bit. Um, yesterday we, let's get a moment. Well, while I, I share, please tell me when you can see my screen. Just tell me when I can see. All right now. Yeah, yeah we can see. It. Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. So this is the um the the exercises that we did yesterday. Uh, remember that um you had to decide if um if you if you agree with this and how strongly you agree with it so i told you that it was up to you to decide um if you were going to be using should um uh shouldn't um ought to must mustn't or um has has to or have got to right it was up to you so what are you going to do right now is you're going, we're going to put you into breakout rooms and I want you to discuss this with your classmates. Which of these, um, a, which of these ones do you feel very strongly about, not so strongly about and so on, okay? So I'm going to put you right now into breakout rooms. Everybody should have done it. Um, so I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms. Um, um, oh, I'll, I'll have you in small groups, not huge groups. I'll have you maybe in groups of of three or four. Okay, and um, let me just make sure. Yeah, and um, I'll give you about six minutes to do this. Okay, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Hello, Karen. Me sacó. La sacó. Ahorita la voy a 
Le voy a meter otra vez a otro grupo. Gracias. Hola. Hola. Ya lo está, ya lo está compartiendo. Um, sí, ya. Ok. Vamos bueno. a trabajar en la primera. Vaya. Eh, es people. people. Uh -huh. Yo creo que shouldn't be all away. Sí, all away. All people all away. should be all away to use cell phones. Why driving? Okay. Así, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, así lo tengo yo. Sí, yo así lo, lo hice también. Vale. Ah, la segunda es Young no, people no. mustn't no, mustn't to be permitted. No, no. Ajá, mm -hmm. pero y eh, también se puede escribir must not be must permitted. Must not be, ¿verdad? ajá. Ajá. Okay. Must not be permitted. Permitted. Mm -hmm. well, to be no, married before age 15. Uh -huh. La number three, mm -hmm. companies should be required, required. To, uh -huh. to give worker, work, workers periodic okay. workers periodic breaks. Pero creo que um, nosotros teníamos como que como que dar nuestra opinión por uh, con esas afirmaciones algo así no um, sí. pues, entendí que Ten... um, ah solo tenemos que usar los los um, ajá, lo, los models. models ajá los models ajá. Ah, okay no yo decía porque abajo uh, abajo cómo se llama estaba como Un ejemplo algo así Sorry, guys, is it possible for you guys to speak in English? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but that's the idea, right? That's the idea is that you guys okay. speak practice. Um, uh, <laughs> number, number four. Number four, uh huh. Um, people shouldn't be. All the way to have pets in high rise apart apartments. Apartments. Uh -huh. Apartments. Numbers. Number five. A scientist. Así es verdad. Miss. Así es la pronunciación. A scientist have have got to be. Very Sorry, could you could you repeat that? What what was the? Can you repeat what you? How you pronounced it? Yes. Uh, a scientist. A scientist. A scientist. A scientist. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. A scientist have got to be permitted to use it animal for research. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, yes. A number. Six. Okay, okay. Mm, la, 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 laus must be passed to ban the sale of hagoons. 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 Okay. Um, number seven. Seven. The sale of food products. Solemn. Be permitted. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Some sometimes sometimes shouldn't be done to stop clubs from staying open so late. So late. Okay. It's good. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> uh, um, yo creo que ya terminamos, pero no sé, creo que teníamos que 
que dar nuestra opinión, algo así, no sé, así lo entendí, pero no creo que no es así. So, you obviously are going to have different ideas. So, some of you are going to have, um, you're going to say must, other people so they say should. So, that's going to, everybody has their own ideas. Is that okay? Okay. That's kind of the idea. Um, I think number one, um, respect our people uh, to use cell phone um, while driving. Um, I think it's uh, a downturn the, lab, the life of the people when driving. I think it's very dangerous for the people and children. Mm -hmm. um, many times she's playing in the strip. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, animal too is, is, is dangerous animal too. Mm -hmm. For los animales. <laughs> sí. Sí, um, 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 number two, I think uh, yeah, it's necessary um, more should be invested in sexual education and adolescents or parents should be more responsible in, in home education. In home is important, the education. Yes. Because sometimes are the, the girls are, ¿cómo se dice obligadas? I don't know. <laughs> Forced. 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 Miss, <laughs> my pronunciation in English is bad. <laughs> I did. I did that, practice. That, that's why we're here to help you. So don't worry. That's the idea. All day learning some new. This I need to improve my pronunciation in English. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, mascotas, pets. Sí. Pets in high fly apartment. Mm -hmm. ¿Y la número cinco? Eh. Science, you don't mean to use animal for research. Ajá. Uh -huh. Should it be permitted? Eh. La número seis, este. No la este. tiene. Okay. All right, guys, girls, uh, we're going to um continue. Okay. So, um we're going to see if you guys can um can tell us um what you think remember these are your opinions these are your own ideas so there's really no right or wrong answers right okay so this is basically what you think so the first one says people people what should people shouldn't be shouldn't allowed. be allowed to use cell phones while driving. Okay. Good. 
people yeah. shouldn't be allowed to use cell phones while driving. Very good. Next. Yeah. Okay. So shouldn't um it could also be mustn't. Okay. That that's also another possibility. Yeah. Mustn't. Um. Next. Young people. Mustn't. Young people mustn't not be permitted. Not to be. Okay, right. Mustn't uh, be permitted to get married before the age 15. So, um, yeah. I, yeah, so th that one seems to be a pretty strong one, right? I, I think most people feel very strongly about that one. So it's probably mustn't is like the best option. Okay, next one, companies. Companies? Companies ought to be Company. required to give workers period. Required. Sorry, Co companies. Companies must be required to must, give workers. Must, must be to give workers. Okay. All right. So, okay. Okay. So you feel very strongly about that. Okay, so companies must be must uh must be required to give workers peri uh, periodic breaks. Next one, people. People shouldn't be allowed to have it in high rise apartments. Good. People shouldn't be allowed to have pets in high rise apartments. Good. Next, number five, scientists. Scientists must not be permitted to use animals for research. Good. Scientists must not be permitted to use animals for research. Okay. Scientists must not be permitted to use animals for research. In my case, we found scientists. Shouldn't be permitted to use animals for research. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. It's it's all going to depend on um, whether you feel very strongly about this or not. So if you don't feel that strongly about it, we can say shouldn't, um, or yeah. In, in theory, although we haven't learned it, it should be ought not to. It could also possibly be okay. Ought not to be allowed. Okay. Next. Um, um, laws okay. must be passed laws. to ban the sale of handguns. Good. Laws must be passed to ban the sale of handguns. Um, so if do you feel very strongly about this or just a little bit? Mm, very strong about that. So yeah, if you feel very strongly about it, you're gonna say the word must, okay. must. Um, uh, but if you you're just like eh, then maybe it could be like should. But I'm 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 pretty sure most people feel very strongly about this, so it, should, it would be must. What about the next one? The sale of fur products must be permitted. Shouldn't be permitted. The sale for products um must should or, or should shouldn't be permitted. Must good. Be good. good. Must be permitted. Must um or or mustn't. I shouldn't. Me salió buena. Yo puse must be. Okay. Sí, um, hay, hay hay correcta. Ah. Exactly. Podría, uh, shouldn't be permitted, should be permitted, or must be permitted, or must not be permitted. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it all depends on what your um, values are. Like if you have strong values about uh, fur products and you say like, no, I that's not right, then you would be mustn't. 
mustn't be permitted. If you have you if you if your values are against it, but they're not really strong, you would say shouldn't be permitted. Um, if you are if you like fur products, then you say should be permitted. And if you really like fur products and you want to have them, you would say um, ought to be permitted. So it's it's really it's a matter of of or or sorry have got to be permitted. Um, it's a matter of what you believe in. Okay, so um, yeah. So it's, it's gonna be different for everybody. Next, something. Should be done. Should be done or must be done. Right, should be done or ought to be done. Uh, to stop yeah, clubs from uh, staying um, open so late. Good, excellent. Um, any questions about this? No, good. Yeah, everybody's everybody's okay. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're going to go to the next part, which is this conversation that we have here um, between Sarah and Todd. So I want you to listen and repeat after me, okay? Health insurance. Health insurance. Health insurance. Health insurance. Child care bills. Child care bills. Child care bills. Rent. 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 Now that I'm going to school, in, uh, up to there. Now that I'm going to school, and only working part time, and only working part time, part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance. Health insurance is really expensive. It's really expensive. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, my company used to pay. Yeah. Yeah, my company used to pay. For it when I was working full time. And child care isn't cheap. And child care isn't cheap. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No, it's not. No, no it's not. It's not. No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, after I pay for rent, rent, rent and groceries, and groceries, almost all my money, almost all my money, goes to pay, goes to pay. pay. For my son's daycare. For my, my son's daycare. 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 Colleagues should provide. College should provide. Free daycare. Free daycare. Free daycare. For students with children. With for students, students, children, children with children. Okay, so children is singular. So yeah, don't you don't say children, it's just children. 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 Very good. I think so too. I think so too. I think so too. But they don't have any services. 
but they, they don't, don't have the same services, services at all. At all. like that at my school like, like that, that, at, that, that at, at my school. school very good excellent good job all right now if you have any questions about the vocabulary um if you there are some words that you don't understand the meaning um can you please write in the chat Okay, so, so right now we're just going to stick to the meaning of the words. We'll look at the pronunciation in a moment. Right now, uh, we're just going to look at the meaning of words. Okay, is that all? Okay, so we are going to, um, I think that's it. So we're going to check the from the first one. Okay, health. So you guys understand the word health, right? Is that okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So health, uh, just in case you don't understand, it means uh, it's the, the condition that your body is in. So if you have a good condition, then you're healthy, right? So talking about your health, it talks about how your body is. Now, insurance, the word insurance is the word insurance is talking about um, what um, the like money, basically money that you pay uh, to go to um, to a doctor or a hospital or to get medicine if you are sick. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, teacher. It's like a bill. Okay. No, not not bills. Seguro de vida o seguro de salud. Yeah, so in this case, insurance is, is talking about the 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 policy that you pay to get medical um care. Okay, so uh, so that I don't I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. What is that? The, yeah, insurance exactly. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, so, for example, um, well, I'm not actually really sure what what are some of the health insurance companies in El Salvador, but um, basically, it's just it's like you pay money to this company so that they, if you have to use um, uh, like uh, the hospital or go to the doctor or get um some a surgery or or a study made that they are going to pay part of that money does that make sense yes 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 okay perfect all right this was a, a, a this is a good one make ends meet. this is a very um a very classic 
uh, idiom that we use. Make ends meet means that um, you make enough money so that um, you are able to pay for the things that are necessary. Does that make sense? Yes, no. no. Can, you me, can you give me an example or something? I don't know. Okay, so let's say that my budget, like I, to pay for my rent, my food, and all my bills, um, comes mm -hmm. up to, um, I don't know, six hundred dollars. Let's say, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, then to make ends meet, I need to make a minimum of six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. That means that I have enough money to pay for my necessary things. Oh, all right. I get it now. Thank you. Okay. So it's an expression. It's an idiomatic expression. Uh, make ends meet. So maybe you can say, you can say, oh, I have to get a second job to make ends meet. All right. Okay. So that would... Um, I guess yeah. you can yeah. say something like that, but it's not about stretching the money. It's just basically um making making sure that you have enough money to, money to cover the necessary things. Okay. All right. Any questions? So far, so good. Okay, good. Next one, colleges. This one right here, the colleges, is not, please do not confuse this with colegios. It is not colegios. It is talking about universities. Okay. And what's the difference between college and university? If there isn't any. Um, just that basically you might um, end up with uh, um, maybe the colleges can also like like universities are very um, big and elaborate colleges um, can be either big universities or they can be smaller universities um, that uh, you know just um, so it could be like a big university campus or it can be a smaller mm -hmm. one okay to give you an example um, let's say La Tecnológica is a very huge university, right? Or, or mm -hmm. La Universidad del Salvador is a huge university. But something like um, La Politécnica, that would be like smaller, but it's still considered a college. Does that make sense? All right. Yes. So it could also include um, like community college. All right, cool. All right, okay. cool, thank you. All right, you're welcome. And then, then we have the word provide. Uh, provide just means to give. Okay, so colleges should give or universities should give free daycare. Ah, okay, teacher. Okay, any questions? It's like a like a dar, no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. In Spanish, it's literally proveer. Or brindar. Yeah, exactly. Okay, what about pronunciation? Can you write in the chat any questions? Any questions about pronunciation? Mm, not teacher. I don't have problem with the pronunciation. If anybody does, it. you can write in the chat. Someone is asking about the pronunciation of grocery. Yeah, I really circled the word for sure. Thank you. Okay.
nothing else? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go then to the pronunciation. This is atrocious. Can you repeat? Groceries. 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 Yeah, groceries. Groceries? Groceries. Groceries. Yeah. Groceries. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. College. Oh, okay. Thank you. I haven't seen that one. So this is colleges. 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 Yes, correct. Anything at all? Anything else? Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go on to the next topic. Right, just give me a moment. Okay, please tell me if you are able to see my screen. Hi, I'm the Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so we have here, um, the first one is the negative tag. Um, so these are all questions, by the way, just so you guys yeah. understand. Okay, so in, but you will notice that these are questions, but they're not conventional questions, okay? These are questions that you need um, using the ending of a sentence, okay? So I'm going to right now um, underline the part that makes the question. Okay, so these endings right there is what we call tag endings. Well, that's what they're called, tag endings. That part is the part that makes the sentence a question. Because if you notice, the first part are not, are not really questions. They are sentences. Let me highlight all of the sentences so you can see it. Okay, so let's take a look at the first part we have. Health insurance is really expensive. Oh. That is a sentence that is in the, uh, in the affirmative. There are lots of criminals um, in the city. That is also a sentence that is, um, that is a, uh, an affirmative sentence. Okay. Next we have Graffiti makes everything look ugly. Okay, colleges should provide daycare. All of that is in the um in the affirmative form, right? Okay. So if you notice, the verb is in the affirmative form. Let me um, circle all of the of the verbs so you can see them.
So do you see the verbs are all in the affirmative form? That is why when we use the questions, they're actually going to be the opposite. So if you notice, it says your affirmative statement and negative. So now let's take a look at the okay, questions that are now negative. Let me, um, let me highlight that. So do you notice that? You notice that um, they are all in the opposite, right? So is becomes is, are becomes are. Make uh, it becomes doesn't. Why does, why make becomes doesn't? Can someone tell me? Any idea? Well, if I'm going to make a question with me, what, what, how do I make, like, let's say that I want to say, um, uh, do, um, do assets, um, um, are you a teacher? Are you? No, no, let, let, no, let's, let, I'm talking about the, the verb make. So let's say, um, uh, do you, do you make, cakes here, right? Do you make cakes? Notice we're using the auxiliary do. Do you make cakes? So that's why we're using the auxiliary here, does it? Because do is the auxiliary that you would use with me. But in the negative form, huh? That's it. Yeah. So, so if I make the question, it would be, do you make graffiti and so do, sorry, does graffiti make everything look ugly? That's, that would be the question. So I'm going to be using the auxiliary do, or in this case, doesn't, does. So then, because this is affirmative, we're going to make this one negative. We're going to say doesn't. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, the chat. Okay, all right. And then the last one says, colleges should provide daycare. So should, we're going to make it, because this one's affirmative, it's going to now become negative. Does that make sense? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Good, okay. So remember, if this part is, if, if um if this part is affirmative, then the other part has to be negative. It's like the counterpart. Okay. Now it's also true in the opposite way. So if this part, first part is negative, then the second part is going to be affirmative. Okay. So it's going to look like this. Okay, teacher. Okay, so look at all of these are negative, right? Isn't, aren't, don't care, can't. All of these are negative. So that means that over here, we're going to have to put them positive, okay? So notice it isn't because it's negative becomes now is. Aren't because it's negative becomes are. Don't care because we're using the auxiliary don't now becomes do. Okay. And can't now becomes can. All right. So it's just going to be the opposite. 
Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. Good. All right. Excellent. Um, now, um, something else that you have to be careful with, um, and this is something that I noticed that you guys were having problems with in the platform, and it's basically because we really do what we we hadn't seen this topic in depth. And it's that you have to also be careful about the subject that you're using. So, um, uh, so for example, here we're using it. The subject is it. Who can tell me why the, I'm using the subject it? Who can tell me? Because we are not talking about somebody, we are talking about something. In this case, is health insurance. Right, exactly. Not. Yes, very good. So health insurance is not a person, it's a thing. And something else that you have to be careful when you're talking about things, ask yourself, is it singular or plural, okay? Um, so in this case, health insurance is singular. So that's why we're going to be using the word it. If this if this said, for example, health insurances, okay, then it would be is um it would be in this case aren't they? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, and now in this one, what is the subject? Graffiti. In the in the second one here, there are lots of animals in the city. What is the subject? There. There. Exactly. There. Very good. So there is a is a subject. Don't forget that there is a subject. Sorry, there, there the the word there is a subject. So we have to say aren't there? Okay. Next one, graffiti. Graffiti is something, right? It's a thing and it's it, right? Because it's only singular. Okay. Uh, does that make sense? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, colleges. Now, this one is plural. Notice colleges is plural. Now, it's not a person. It's a thing. So we're going to um be using the word um they because it's a thing but it's plural okay because colleges if it just said co a college then it would say shouldn't it but it says colleges so it's plural okay and uh, the okay. same thing the same thing here you got to be careful child care isn't cheap is it we're using it. Why it? Because it's child care. It's right. a thing. It's a thing. And child care is, a, is it, uh, a, a, sorry, it's accountable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. It's, it's, uh, um, it's plural. I don't remember. Can we say child cares? No. No, child care is uncountable. uncountable. If, some, if something is uncountable, it's automatically going to be used like a sing, sing, in singular form. Automatically. Okay, so just be careful with that. Okay? All right. Um, the same thing here. The word is there. Okay, so the, the subject is there. So you're going to say are there. In this case, um, you just have to be careful about... Um, so... Uh, there we could be there is or there are right so it just it, you just have to be careful what what form of b you're going to be using here people so in this case people is singular or plural plural it's plural, plural. exactly so because it's plural we're not going to say do people we're just going to say do they so we're going to be using the subject they does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, good. And finally, we have 
the subject U. Okay. Uh, over here we have new. So over here we also use you. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Okay. Yes, it does. Very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. Um, so that's it. We have uh, finished this lesson. Um, do you have any questions at this point? Something you want to ask about? Mm, so far, so good. So far, so good? Yes. Okay. It's clear. It's all clear. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so I, I know you guys already did this in the platform, but you know, it's 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 important that you guys make sure that you do understand it, right? Um, it, so over here, just to quickly give you the answers, you can't escape advertising nowadays. In this case, because we're using the auxiliary can't, it would say, can, can, you? can hey. you, exactly. Here, there aren't enough gun control laws. Here we're using- Are there? Are, are there? Good, exactly. Are there? Because in here, yeah. this is a negative, so it's going to be R, and the subject is there. And then we have uh, noise pollution is a major problem here. So is it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, because noise pollution is, is uncountable. We can't count noise pollution, so it has to be it. Next one, um, there are it's more long. and more homeless people on the street. Aren't there? Aren't there? Aren't there? Aren't there? Aren't there? Aren't there. Aren't Good. Aren't there? It's the opposite. Right? Aren't. The, tails, the sales tax should be lower. Doesn't it? Sure. Okay, here we're using the auxiliary should. Ah, should. Uh, shouldn't. Shouldn't <laughs> it. Good. Shouldn't it. Shouldn't it. Yes, good. Shouldn't. It isn't easy to save money these days. It is. Isn't it? Is it? Isn't it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Isn't it? Sorry, sorry, is it? Sorry, is it? Is it? Because this is negative, so it's going to be opposite. Good. Downsizing is hurting the economy. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? The city doesn't do enough for uh, stray animals. Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does because it. this is the opposite of doesn't. It would be do. And the city is it. So there you go. That's it. All right, guys. So we have officially finished now. All right, so guys, just be care. Uh, just sorry. Be um, be aware that you you will be contact very soon to be able to start the new um, the new um, module, which should be starting if I'm not mistaken next week. Okay, so just okay. um, so hopefully we'll see each other very soon. Okay. All right. Okay. So take care, guys. Thank you so much for Thank everything. You. You're welcome, welcome for everything. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you, everyone. Nice to meet you. Nice Bye. to meet you. It was nice to meet you, teacher. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Bye-bye.